Over 50 irate homeowners of the St. Thomas Anna's Retreat Area met with representatives of the International Charter Mortgage Corporation last evening to complain about the servicing of the Puerto Rico-based company. The homeowners allege that their mortgage payments, which are mailed to Puerto Rico, are not being adequately handled, and in some cases, payments are not acknowledged. About four months ago, the president of the Hidden Valley Civic Home Owner Association, Alvis Raymond, called for an investigation by the legislature of the International Charter Mortgage Corporation of Puerto Rico. The corporation services mortgages held by Citibank for approximately 280 Annas Retreat homeowners, according to corporation spokesman Joe Pons. The matter has been taken up by Senator Delbert Bryan, who has conducted a hearing and has written to the corporation, outlining the demands of the homeowners. Demands which, if not met within a given period of time, would result in the withholding of payments to be placed in an escrow account. Part of those demands were met last evening at the Zone C Police Command in Tutu when corporation representatives showed up for a meeting with homeowners. Saying that he would not accept any more checks till I paid in four months back rent and that they foreclosed it. And in the other one, I got a letter just a month before telling me how my escrow account was credited $53 that was overpaid. <laughs> At the heart of the matter are individual concerns by homeowners as to where their monies are going. It is not a policy of the company to give receipts, Pond said. It is understood that the check or money order receipt would be the payee's record. The spokesman said last night it's not unusual for a large corporation as International Charter Mortgage, which also services mortgages throughout Puerto Rico, to have such problems. He feels that communication between homeowners and the company needs to be improved. Although there is no collections office for the corporation on St. Thomas, Mrs. Brenda Lands works out of a Limburg Bay office as the company's resident representative. The services of that office have also been termed inadequate by some of the homeowners who feel the office lacks pertinent information to the individual cases. The homeowners are calling for a St. Thomas Collections Office which will issue receipts and charter mortgage representatives have assured the residents they will meet that demand. Pond said they are in the process of establishing such a financial institution on St. Thomas and a final response on that is expected next week. He said they are being very open-minded about the situation. Toy, the weekend is here once again and everybody wants to know what the weather is going to be like. Well, I think if we keep our fingers crossed, we just might have good weather for the weekend. We're only expecting some scattered showers. We'll talk about those showers and what's happening on the mainland as soon as we return. This is the wide and wonderful world of the Heineken men. A world of excitement, good living, and class. This is their beer, Heineken beer, known and appreciated around the world for its quality and great taste. Come on into the wonderful world, the wonderful world of the Heineken man. Be a Heineken man, join the Heineken man of the world. Disaster strikes, suddenly, swiftly, without warning. Where can you turn for protection? Dome Insurance. Mother Nature strikes, sometimes with devastating results. How can you protect yourself? Dome Insurance. The only locally owned and licensed insurance company in the Virgin Islands. Check your yellow pages for the local agent nearest you. We care about you. Dome Insurance. show that race car driving is actually safer than driving on the streets. The drivers here are professionals and you know what to expect. Still, I wouldn't dream of turning a lap without building myself. And now for the tricky part. Drive home. First thing I do is buckle up. If you don't build yourself, you're just kidding yourself. This message was brought to you by Harbor Chevrolet. Temperatures will range from the 20s in New England today and tomorrow and to the 80s in southern and interior Florida and 50s and 60s on the west coast. The, that's the good news. The bad news is another storm system, system moved into the Rockies, bringing with it another round of windy, wet weather for the central and western states. The heavy snow moved on to Colorado, but we, well, we're going to have good weather. Our little seagull friend will continue with good weather over the eastern Caribbean for the next two days. The shower activity will be little. 
there's no significant change in our weather pattern expected. The only thing is temperatures may be a little bit above normal due to the southeasterly wind flow. It seemed to be above normal today, and let's take a look and see where we were with temperatures around Puerto Rico and the Virgin Islands. On St. Thomas, the high again got up to 90. The low was 74, and on St. Croix and St. John at East End, the high was 90, the low was 72. St. Croix's high was 87, with a low of 73. San Juan's high was only 89, with a low of 75. The barometric pressure is high for St. Thomas, 29.98, and for St. Croix, 29.96. St. John at East End had a barometric pressure of 29.84, and that's dropping down from where it started this morning. Relative humidity for St. Thomas, 87%, St. Croix, 68%, St. John, 61%. Precipitation recorded at the air airport was eight hundredths of an inch, none for St. Croix, and just a trace on St. John. Sunrise tomorrow will be at 6.33, sunset will be at 5.46. The winds are southeasterly at 10 knots. Off the coast of St. John, it was really light, and it was north-northeast, and zero to five knots. The waves are near two feet. The swells are easterly, one to three feet. And all throughout the eastern Caribbean, we're going to have favorable seas, as we have generally fair skies and fair weather. Only a few showers are expected uh, during the nighttime hours. There were water spouts, though, spotted near the Acus today. And the water spout warning, of course, remains until the sun goes down, sometime around 7 o'clock. But do be on the lookout if you plan to go sailing in that area that may develop again tomorrow because of the, the heat of the large land masses in the afternoon. But mostly sunny as a general high pressure ridge is holding its own and building and throughout the eastern Caribbean. Now there's scattered showers throughout Hispaniola. Temperatures are going right back up there. Now 88 is expected to be the high. Scattered thunderstorms because of a cold front that is going through central Cuba and, and the Bahamas and moving right down to Haiti. They expect it to be across the uh, western tip of Haiti by tonight and that will produce some more scattered showers and some more scattered thunderstorms. But generally uh, throughout the eastern Caribbean, our area, we're going to have a good weekend. And on the mainland, they had all kinds of weather systems. As the cold front brought a lot more cloudiness and a lot more rain to middle America, but the Bad news is there is another storm on the west coast building up, and just as these snow showers and rain showers move on to the central uh, western states, another one is coming and is expected to drop a lot more snow. Temperatures are dropping again, 30s and 20s in the New England states. New York City expected to be damp tomorrow with a high of only 45 degrees. The low, it warmed up in Alapena, Michigan, it was 16 degrees. And for our own weather, we're expecting to have a wonderful weekend. Just a few scattered showers. Temperatures will be pretty warm, but there's only a 20% chance of showers and a chance of some more water spouts. So if I were you, I'd go out and have a wonderful weekend. I'm Toya Andrew with Weather from News Center 10. Staying ahead financially today is a challenging race, and the odds aren't exactly even. To beat the race, you need First Pennsylvania. Our complete line of services will get you out front. And with our convenient locations throughout the Virgin Islands, we have the strength and stability to sail you through the uncertain times. Others may keep you even, but First Pennsylvania Bank will keep you ahead. First Pennsylvania Bank. We have services to help you win. Say yes merrily to the greatest fine furniture values of the season. Island Furniture House has them. Just arrived and so reasonably priced. Superbly crafted bedroom suites. Quality designed dining room sets. Attractive stylish living room sets. Yes, yes, when it comes to fine quality furniture fashions, Island Furniture House has them for all seasons. Merry Christmas and a happy home from Island Furniture House.